Okay, we're gonna try a little unboxing video today. It's August 6, 2021, and today the George Harrison All Things Must Pass re-release came out. I got the Uber Deluxe uh, box set, and here's the box. It weighs uh, close to 50 pounds, I think 48 pounds. So let's take a look at what's inside. Kind of hard to believe that a triple album would weigh 48 pounds, but ooh, this is cool. Big wooden crate. So, if you can see it, it says George Harrison Ripley, I think. Can't read it upside down, but it's a beautiful wooden crate. Tilt the camera down a little bit. There we go. Let's see. Got the lid off. And I can see this is the 50th anniversary. I think this is actually the album itself. So there's the triple album as it originally came out in uh, November of 1970. It was George's third solo album and his first since the Beatles broke up. And then on this side, it says, here we've got George Harrison, All Things Must Pass, demo, demo sessions out. Okay, we got the main box open. So um, here is, I think what is gonna be the main album as it came out 50 years ago so and of course it's an all-star cast of uh, musicians it's it's almost like Derek and the Dominoes before they were Derek and the Dominoes so you've got uh, Eric Clapton Dave Mason Bobby Keys Jim Price Ringo is on it Jim Gordon Alan White, Billy Preston, Bobby Whitlock, Gary Wright. Yeah, so this is all the, the original album as it came out in November of uh, 1970. So I do have the original on CD. There's a picture of George at his house at the time, poster, Friar Park. This must have come with the original LP. It's got all of the lyrics, the liner notes, and it originally was a triple album. So George, you know, often didn't get more than two or three songs on a Beatles album because John and Paul had so much material. I think his his biggest album may have been Revolver. I think he, I think he had four songs on that, but he had a ton of material when they split up in 1969-70. So he brought it big with the triple. So and this is the second collection of material. It says demos, jam sessions party discs, all recorded between May and October of 1970. Again, a bunch of uh, liner notes in here. 
Very cool. I can't wait to get this going. The albums. Looks like there's another four LPs in here. Tells you who plays all the instruments. It's going to take weeks to get through all this stuff. Different takes on different songs. So, pretty cool. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the box here and see what other bonus stuff we have. So, this looks to be a cool lithograph of some kind. And it's got the Dark Horse Hare Krishna logo on here. I hate to even break the seal. Let's see if I can do it gently. Try not to tear it. Oh, this is cool. It looks like it might be a Claus Vorman drawing in the in the studio. So it looks like you got the two horn players, Bobby Keys and um, Jim Price. Ringo on the drums, Eric Platt, then there's George, Gary, Gary Wright maybe, I don't know, Billy Preston, Klaus Vorman, and Phil Spector, and it says it's a 2020 Klaus Vorman um, lithograph, oh, beautiful. Doesn't look like it's signed, but Still cool. Klaus Vorman uh, was an artist and then a bass player. He played a fair amount with uh, John Lennon too. Something big and heavy in this. No idea. Um, so again, it also has that same sort of dark horse logo. I don't think he was calling it Dark Horse at the time, but maybe. Oh. This looks cool. So this is like a photo, like it looks like a, it almost looks like a personal photo album that he put together. Um, I think that this wood here may be from a tree at Friar Park where he lived. And a picture of George. Yeah, so there's a bookmark that's the tree. And it, fill, it comes right out of that seal. That is cool. And let's see if I can prop this up and just look at a couple of things. So I'm just going to flip a few pages. All things, all things pass. The sunrise does not last all mornings. All things pass. The cloud burst does not last all day. Lao Tzu. And then some quotes from George. Beautiful. I mean, the, the, the ink on this is just spectacular. It's beautiful. Pictures of the schedule. George at the piano, George in the studio. I'm not showing you every page here. And then it looks like there's um, the original lyrics from, from the songs, the date it record, was recorded. So this happens to be, I'd have you anytime recorded in May and June, Studio 3 Abbey Road. And it tells a little story about it. Looks like he wrote this in Esher, Surrey, England. There's My Sweet Lord, recorded in May of 1970. Here's the lyrics on that page. Uh, there's Billy Preston and Ringo in the studio. Wawa, isn't it a pity? 
picture of George and Ringo, Eric, Billy, and Peter Drake, who I, I know the name, I can't remember what he did. He, I don't think he was a musician. He's like one of the managers, I think. Apple Scruffs, Art of Dying, I D Dig Love. There's a picture of uh, George playing, I think they call that guitar Rocky. That psychedelic one that he painted psychedelic. There he is with the, uh, the gnomes. <laughs> it's a uh, ukulele, I think. Oh, and then at the back, it's got all the CDs and Blu-rays, it looks like. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six CDs. So again, I didn't show you the whole thing, but it's super cool. And here's the little wooden bookmark that I think from when I bought this, it said that that might, might be from a tree at Friar Park, but we'll see. I'm gonna take another quick pause. All right, I'm just gonna show you the box a little closer here. So we've gotten through what, you know, the usual deluxe set would in, include, you know, all the outtakes of the album. You can see it says George Harrison, Friar Park. I can't quite make out the bottom. All oh, things must pass. It's a really cool old box. So there's still more inside. I want to do this gently, so let me stop it again. Okay, there's another box. It's got autumn leaves on it. And I can figure out how to open it. Oh, there we go. So it's hard to read in this light. Um, a sunrise doesn't last all morning. Cloudburst doesn't last all day. Seems my love is up and has left you with no warning. But it's not always been that way, that gray. And all things must pass, all things must pass. So, there's a small book that says Light from the Great Ones. One of the Krishnas, oops. And a little saying in there, it's about eight pages long. And then this little bead and tassel. And then there's a, a paperback book that says Archival notes, the making of all things must pass. I think this is his son, maybe, maybe still the original. I was, I was thinking it was from his son, Danny, who led the development of this box set. But it looks like it's the notes from the original album again. So that's about 30 pages of information on the original LP. Then over here, then looks like this is the, this is the last thing in here. So big box. It's got a special handle for lifting it out. I'm really anxious to listen to this. Looks like a panoramic shot of Friar Park.
last thing to open, I believe. The box looks to be empty. And got to pause one last time because I don't have any scissors. Okay, here's the last piece. <laughs> the last pieces. And these are replicas from his gardens of the little sort of gnomes or dwarfs or so you got this guy and then you've got Little man two on his side. The third. Boy, I didn't realize there were going to be that many of these. The fourth, and maybe I'll do a second video as soon as I know the story of each of these. And all of them, that's cool. I don't, I think that that is definitely George, but that, I, I don't believe he had that in his garden. So they must have made that special for uh, this deluxe box set. So that's it. So the box is open and empty. Again, here's, so there's there were like five or six versions of this thing. This was the, box that everything came in for the uber deluxe you can see it's totally empty so yeah i think it's six albums seven cds bunch of books lithographs all the figures i gotta change this to close for the weekend and for charlie watts hopefully he gets well soon so it's actually release day and this arrived right on release day, so that's pretty cool too. So I'll probably start listening to it either tonight or tomorrow. So hope you liked it. I know I'm excited to listen to it. It's one of his uh, his masterpieces and uh, should be a lot of fun to listen to. Hope a lot of you bought it too.